Should laser weapons in the Fallout universe have recoil? This, surprisingly, is a fairly hotly debated topic in the Fallout community, and I was actually doing some research on this to talk about the topic myself when I found out that the topic has already been covered in a scientific journal, something that I found really interesting. And of course, being the nerds that Fallout lore people are, such as myself, uh, I thought this is something that would bring an interesting element to the discussion. Now, first of all, let's talk about why this is even a discussion. Why is it that ballistic and plasma weapons should have recoil and many people contend that laser weapons should not? Well, in essence, recoil is an inverse form of momentum acting rearward on the gun. In other words, the momentum put out by the projectile is equal in an inverse order to the recoil experienced by the shooter. But lasers fire no projectile. They fire charged photons. These do not have mass, so to speak, uh, but the scientific paper does cover that uh, they do possess a small, small amount of momentum. And it's for this reason that it's contended that laser weapons should not have recoil. A lot of people point to the in-game physics, which I'm demonstrating here, showing that laser weapons in the game do not actually push objects around, meaning that the devs thought about this to some extent and decided that the laser would not hit with any mass and would not physically disrupt projectiles. However, we can see that the gamma gun did. So this is definitely something that was thought about in the developing the physics engine of the game. So this is an article published by Jake Morris and Connor Appleton. It was published in the Journal of Interdisciplinary Science Topics and uh, published, uh, I guess, through their uh, education at the Center for Interdisciplinary Science at the University of Leicester. And this was published in November of 2018, titled, Should the Laser Weapons in Fallout Have Recoil? Now, I don't just want to make this whole video just reading what somebody else wrote word for word, but I will read you the introduction. It says, Fallout is a series of role-playing video games set in a post-apocalyptic, retro-futuristic wasteland after total nuclear annihilation occurred in the year 2077. The 1950s post-war culture's hope for outlandish future technology and the seeming inevitability of nuclear war to find the world of Fallout. Among this advanced technology is an array of laser weaponry. The laser weapons in the Fallout series have recoil similar to the conventional ballistic weaponry in the series. However, the photons fired by the laser weapons are not projectiles in the traditional sense. They have zero rest mass. However, they do carry a momentum and can apply a radiation pressure to surfaces they make contact with. This paper will investigate if the momentum change of the gun upon firing is sufficient to cause recoil of the magnitude seen in the games. So obviously there is some very technical uh, language and math going on in the paper, which if you'd like to read, I will link in the description. I'm not going to get into all of it uh, because frankly, I don't even know how to put all of it into words that I would narrate. But they do this comparison via two means. They first do a model that takes the damage output of the base laser pistol and compare it to the base 44 Magnum. In this model, they assume that the damage uh, that the game does or that the gun does in game is directly proportional to the energy of the shot fired, and then they can look at the rest mass and the momentum of both types of shots. And using this, uh, they can create a ratio of momentum, felt recoil, to energy transferred. What they found here would seem to be pretty damning on the side of laser weapons should not have recoil because they found that the 44 Magnum would experience a recoil impulse that is 2,750,000 times greater than that of the base laser pistol. So in other words, the recoil would be so negligible that the person firing the laser pistol would never even notice. Um, in fact, this isn't stated in the paper, this is just speculation, but I would think that there would be more recoil from the finger pulling the trigger 
than there would be from the recoil impulse at that point. However, they looked at one other model, which is the capability of the laser pistol to disintegrate enemies with a shot. Now, apparently there's already a scientifically established uh, amount of energy that it takes to vaporize a standard human being. I wasn't aware of this. Um, I'm a little curious about the conversations that led to this, but it is out there. And in order to figure out uh, the maximum capability, they then looked at the biggest enemy conceivable in the game, which they stated was a super mutant behemoth. Uh, and I'd probably agree with them. I don't know, maybe, maybe some of the hermit crabs might have greater mass. I don't know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think if you think the super mutant behemoth is the most massive enemy in the game. But they looked at the amount of energy required to vaporize a behemoth as the laser pistol can do, particularly with critical shots. And they found that the momentum impulse of the laser pistol would be 84 times greater than the 44 Magnum and would be impossible to fire uh, without serious injury to the user. So it looks like in actuality, it's really a neither nor situation. Uh, on the one hand, recoil should not be there at all using one model, and on the other hand, it should be so great that you would be unable to fire the weapon. So the typical experience in game actually seems to be a middle ground between the two. Now, I have heard a couple other arguments from fans on forums and such as to why the laser weapons might recoil, and I just want to address my thoughts on these. I'm not saying I'm the expert. Um, I am trained in firearms technology, but this is conventional ballistic firearms. We never studied the AER laser pistol in gunsmithing school. So, uh, this being science fiction obviously is open to interpretation. The first one I've heard is that the laser guns might be made to recoil because soldiers would be trained on guns that recoil and it would make the manual of arms very familiar. Um, I could see this, but at the same time, recoil is never a benefit. If anybody, especially the military, could get zero recoil firearms, they absolutely would. And in fact, there are a number of firearms built around this concept, including the Ultimax 100 and the Surefire MGX, where they're trying to eliminate recoil. Um, so I think this is kind of a non-starter. I think as far as the tactile feedback, you could have a reciprocating slide that had no more recoil impulse than a 22, and anybody who shot a 22 knows it's about as close as you can get to no recoil. I think that would have been perfectly sufficient. Uh, another argument I've heard is that the laser is ionizing the gases in front of the muzzle of the laser pistol or rifle, and that this energy is pushing back on the gun. I'm not sure that I buy this. Uh, the reason that the recoil works on guns is that the momentum is pushed directly rearwards into the breech face of the gun. It's focused into the mass that's being held. It's not dissipated as the ionization gases would be. They'd be free to dissipate their energy throughout the air. Um, in fact, if you look at recoilless rifles, well, they're recoilless. And that's kind of how that works is the gases are vented through the gun instead of the breech face so it ends up being a fairly neutral reaction on the part of the shooter. So in this case, I, I don't really think that holds up, but if that's what makes it make sense for you, I'm not going to tell you how to enjoy the game. The only other one I've seen is that we don't really know the reaction that's going on inside the gun, and that maybe the fusion reaction has some type of uh, release of excess vent energy that's pushed out the front of the barrel in a manner that would be typical to a firearm. And uh, I haven't seen anything that suggests this would be the case, but once again, um, I can't say it doesn't happen, and if that's what makes it make sense to you, then more power to you. So anyways, that's a uh, scientific perspective as well as my perspective on uh, should the laser rifles or laser weapons in the Fallout universe have recoil. I hope this was uh, an interesting perspective for you. I know this is something that's been debated in various forums, and I was personally pretty excited to find out that, hey, somebody going to school to actually be a scientist and know what they're talking about has talked about this before. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something today. If you did, I'd love to see you subscribe or leave a comment saying uh, 
really anything, any kind of feedback you have. And I definitely hope to see you back for more Fallout 4 and video game gun content if you do want to see more of that. In the meantime, it's been a pleasure as always. Thank you.